to the donation room, you know, it was such like a top secret place. And I'm like, but these, this guy needs a jacket. It's cold out there and you're kicking him out because he won't go to Bible study. Well, he should have thought about that before. They know their times. I see pictures on the Facebook of things coming in, but when you actually stay at Harvest House, you see none. All these beautiful care packs with Tim cards and shampoos and face cloths and things in them that people donate in a nice little bag all get separated. I, I personally would bring in bags. There were still tags on some of these things. There was like Nike shoes, there were like some really good stuff, really good clothing. But then it wouldn't be there. The waste is the biggest, you know, is the biggest thing because quite often there's no need for waste because you're throwing it out anyway. And these people are homeless. They can't get too much food to come in and I would put it out if it was subs or sandwiches or something that wasn't going to keep. Um, I would put it out and quite often I'd be, I was drug in the office quite often um, and I would be, you know, why did you do that? Cart, kitchen cart, two level cart after cart of things being carted out of the harvest house that nobody has seen for years. I believe out of the back office. And she said, we're throwing them in the garbage. And I said, well, why? Well, they're expired. I said, okay, can I look at these cans? And I'm nosy, I'll, I, throw, I call them out on it. They don't like it, but I call them out. And I looked at the expiry dates and they were literally 2006, 2008, 2010. 